Three ways to connect the TP-Link RE315 to your home Wi-Fi network. A quick heads up before you start, you have to make sure that the power indicator on your extender glows solid white light and the router is connected to the internet, it broadcasts Wi-Fi and the extender is close enough to the router. Uh, it's recommended up to 16 feet. Uh, now let's go ahead first and the easiest method is to connect by WPS. If your router has the WPS button on the back panel, press this button and then face the left side of the extender and press the button with the padlock icon. Now all you have to do is to wait until all four indicators start glow solid white. Uh, but if you have a, a single band router, you will not see 5G uh, indicator. So we will have only three in a row. But I have two bands indicator, so I will have four in a row. Just be patient and, and wait. That's it. Now you can take any of your gadgets, for example, your smartphone, and go to Wi-Fi settings. And let's see what we have here now. Uh, well, my main router's name is My Wi-Fi, so I have 5 gigahertz band, uh, I have My Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz band, and now I have two new networks. My Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz extended, EXT stands for extended, and 5 gigahertz band. So uh, this is uh, the extender's networks, and we can connect. And actually that's it, now you can just relocate the router in the place you need. The next method is my favorite, this is connection via smartphone. It's super simple and gives you full control over your extender in your pocket. Uh, so you need to get the Tether application by TP-Link, so go to Play Store or App Store or scan this uh, small QR code on the box and get this application open the application and uh, here you need to log in or create a TP-Link ID if you don't have one. Uh, creating is simple, you will enter your email, create password and then confirm uh, your email by clicking the link in the letter. Uh, simple as registration somewhere in, in Facebook, but I already have an account so let me just log in. So now you need to go to my devices and I'm connected to my main router so I see uh, the router in the devices list but I need my extender so to do this I'm going to Wi-Fi settings and I'm connecting to TP-Link extender, this extender's network. Okay. Once connected, you can go back to the application. Your device is automatically detected, but if not, press this plus icon, then tap on add a range extender. Make sure that the power LED is solid on. Confirm this. And let, let the system rescan the area for your extender. And by the way, by the way, uh, if you still don't see your device, you can try to uh, disable mobile internet, disable location service and disable NFC. But, but I'm okay, but I'm okay for now, the device is found and I need to set the device password. Not Wi-Fi password, this is a password to access to the device setting from another smartphone and for, from web browsers, so be sure to write it down. That's it, now let's select which network we want to extend. I want to extend my Wi-Fi, this is the name of my router. Uh, first we need to select 2.4 gigahertz network, enter its password. This is my current Wi-Fi password for now. Connect guys, welcome. And my Wi-Fi 5 gigahertz. 
I wish to extend this network too. If you have single band router, the, sy the system will just skip this step. Then check the passwords, check the network names, tap on next. And here you can rename the TP-Link extenders networks. By default, they are named the same as your router, but with EXT abbreviation added to the end. Let me stick with the defaults and tap on next. And here I need just wait. Uh, same as before, when everything is ready, you will see four in a row if you have dual band rotor and three in a row if you have the single band rotor. We already have four glowing LED lights, but the smartphone is still doing something on the background. So we have to wait for the next instructions. Uh, that's it, and now you can relocate the extender to the Wi-Fi dead zone, but you have to be sure that it's still in the rotor range. Uh, how to detect this? Uh, well, if you see the Wi-Fi signal glowing white, it means the signal is okay. But if you see this LED glowing red, it means the signal is weak and you need to move the extender closer to your rotor. Uh, when you're okay with the location, tap on next in the application and here you can copy password to connect to your network. Now let's go to Wi-Fi settings. Let's find our extended networks, EXT, but uh, I wish to connect to 5 gigahertz, yes. If you, in some reason, you don't see your extended networks, but you see four uh, glowing LED indicators here, try to restart your Wi-Fi, just toggle it off and, and back on again. Uh, let me connect to my Wi-Fi, 5 gigahertz extended. Yes, it's connected and I'm all set for now. I can check the network speed somewhere in speedtest.net. Of course, main network is, is quite faster, but um, this baby is not so power, powerful as this giant. So if you wish uh, to get higher speed, I think you need to buy something more expensive and more powerful. But uh, 200 megabits is okay for work for movies and for normal internet usage. But let's go ahead. And the most advanced approach is connection and management via web browser. So you will get the access to some settings that are not available from the application. So let's move on. First off, you need to connect to the extenders network. So go to your Wi-Fi networks list, find the TP-Link extender, click on that, click on connect. It's connected and now in your web browser click on the address bar and type 192.168.0.254 then press enter and it takes you to the create login password page. Uh, this is the password to manage your device so create it and write it down, let my password be you can't go too simple here because the system re requires at least one letter, one digit and one special symbol. Okay, let's log in. Once again, let's log in with, with our just created password. Now we are in the quick setup menu, so we need to select which network we wish to extend. My network's name is My Wi-Fi. I have to enter its password, tap, click on next. And now select My Wi-Fi 5 gigahertz. Once again, enter password, check if everything is correct because 
if the passwords are incorrect the connection will be failed now if everything is correct click on confirm and here you can rename networks for example let let me rename the extender that will be set that will, let me name the extender that will be plugged in my room and everything is going under the background everything is going under the hood in the background well, that's it we're all set now relocate the extender to the dead zone click on down and go to your Wi-Fi network list again find your new network I prefer fast of course let's connect we need to enter the password here the same password as for your main network so far you can change it later connected secured now let's go back to the browser window and check I have connected to the extended network you can finish and let's log in to our admin panel with our device password now remember this address or write it down tp-link repeater.net uh, this is an access to your devices settings and what you can do from here you can manage your network you can uh, change the network name network password you can manage different speed settings uh, access control parental control led control and wi-fi coverage you can and put your device into a one mesh mode if your router supports it one mesh means you have the seamless network uh, through your house you don't have to connect each device to every extender separately you will have one network name and one password and the, your gadgets will connect to the internet at the highest possible speed all the time it's very convenient uh, you can use the tp link cloud and uh, what you can cannot do from the mobile application is backup oh, from from this menu you can create a backup file with your successful settings and then if you in some reason if you will need to reset the device you can to restore your good settings from from this file so just click on backup here click on keep if you see this window and that's it uh, of course you can reboot the device and reset to factory uh, defaults uh, and it's not so difficult guys hit on the like button subscribe to my channel thanks for watching bye guys